planted some of them down in the dirt yeah! and proud of it to boot. We're dirty, we know it, we're here to show it. We're dirty, we know it, we're here. You realize these girls must be of a special breed. The heat doesn't seem to drain their energy or wipe the smiles off their faces. And they don't mind repetition. Actually, they thrive on it. Do it again. One more time. Okay, you got it. We are the German team of 87. Who are they? A better question might be, who do they want to be? These girls are developing the characteristics of a cheerleader. I just thought it'd be neat to be at games and cheer for your team. Some of them already know who they want to cheer on down the road. It's not hard to guess the goal of a little girl whose last name happens to be Valveno. Uh, they look so much, they're having so much fun and you get to learn all the neat stuff and stuff. And you get to be on the floor and you have fun out there. And you, like when you're in school, you just have to be so quiet. A lot of them come out here, they're shy, they're scared to get in front of people. We have evaluations where they're cheer, you know, doing cheers and chants in front of people. It helps them get over that shyness. But it takes more than a loud mouth to make a good cheerleader. And that's what these girls came to camp to learn. After four days in the heat, these girls go away with more jumps, mounts, and motion. ...in past years. And tonight, Rick Sullivan has the story of two members of this team and the work that they put in before you see them at the games. He was a high school quarterback for a three-time state championship football team. Now he's a highly motivated college athlete, spending hours in the weight room and more hours on the floor practicing his sport. She is also a highly motivated college athlete. She runs every day, lifts weights two or three times a week outside of practice. Tanya Lawrence and Rich Tortolot are North Carolina State cheerleaders. I knew that it was going to be athletic, but I had no idea that we were going to run before practice every day and be required to lift weights and all the other kind of stuff that go along with it. Once I got into it, it was a rude awakening after running the mile before practice and then really getting out there and working for three hours. Rich is also the strength coach for the cheerleaders. His leadership role is not entirely different than it was as a quarterback at Charlotte Country Day, but he thinks it's a little harder now. I enjoy it. Yeah. It's a lot of hard work, and it, and it goes right down. You know, I, was, I grew up playing football, so I'm used to the hard work, but this is probably harder than anything else I've ever done. Tanya was a high school cheerleader and a gymnast in Fayetteville. She is now one of the top athletes in the state cheering squad. In the weight room, she keeps every muscle in shape. Regularly doing 20 to 30 dips is just one example of a rigorous routine. On the floor, she and Rich usually have separate partners, but they are strong and flexible. And even without practicing together, they did all right for this demonstration. Each of them works hard in the performance. Well, he would say that he has the harder job. <laughs> and you would say that you have the harder job. No, you have to pick me up, I mean. No, you have to, it's, it's mutual. It's all, we always say at practice it's 50-50. It's 50-50, definitely. Rick Sullivan, Action Sports 5.